remembered. That's my wife. Your wife? I guess you're all tooled up, right? Oh, yes. Well, we'll do a deal, Chief Superintendent. I'll tell you about your woman when you drop the armament. Is she alive? Just drop it. How easy. Okay, kick it away. So now you know how it feels. Where is she? I left her loosely tied to a kitchen chair on your landing. She was real scared. But unhurt. Well, you know me. That wouldn't be my style. You're gonna pull that trigger, right? It's all I've thought about for six years. You haven't got the bottle, have you? You what? You haven't got the bottle to admit. If you hadn't taken your young brother and that blagging, he'd be alive today. Do you know why your mother never wrote to you? I suppose you do. Because at the funeral, when she saw you handcuffed between two warders, she says, I buried two boys today, for your folk were good folk to you turned up. Say. Large black guy with gun, small middle-aged man, drops pistol to floor, both now fighting following shots being fired. There! Christ. You all right, Jack? as if I've been hit by a train. Well, you have, Gov. Loco. How did you put him out of the game? Well, actually, I didn't. She did. Hit him with a family-sized can of cooking oil. Sick transit, Gloria Swanson. Claire. Um, Jack. Well, Claire's moved into a little boarding house. It's quite comfortable. Boarding house? She wants time to think. You've lost me. Well, uh, it's nothing to do with me, Jack, but... Well, I think it's to do with the job and what happened today. It gave her a shake-up. Poor George. Some days you need a sense of humour, Paul. Well. 